Alpenphone is expanding their air cooling inventory with some potent examples. This new series incorporates two CPU coolers and is under the Broken 4 family, a name taken from the highest peak in northern Germany. So we have a single tower heatsink that's rated for 220 watts of TDP and a twin heatsink dual fan giant, the Broken 4 Max, which can handle around 250 watts of TDP. MSRP is around 60 bucks for the single tower and 80 respectively for the dual tower. It's worth mentioning that you can even get a slim vent and regular fan separately since they sell a triple pack of the jet streams for around 40 bucks. These are useful for example if you want an AIO upgrade because they include a 3-way fan splitter adapter and even longer screws. As you can see the packaging design is pretty much identical between both models with this darker theme. All the important bits are nicely presented on all sides. I always like when companies include a proper magnetic Philips screwdriver. The installation hardware is again almost identical and the dual tower offers an extra custom set of fan clips and a 4-pin splitter. Both coolers share the new 120mm Jetstream fan model that features these specs. Now this is 27mm thick while the second slim fan for the Broken 4 Max is 16mm thick and has the following numbers. As highlighted earlier, Alpenphone provides the option to acquire the fan separately from the Broken 4 Max cooler. They are excellent case fans for those who prefer the stealthy aesthetic approach and I will test them later. Even the slim Jetstream fan comes with its own custom length screws for both AIO and case installation. The regular Singer Tower Broken 4 air cooler has 41 aluminium fins, 8 of which are shorter at the bottom for increased compatibility with the motherboard and features rubber inserts on each side to make a perfect docking area for the fan. The Broken 4 has an asymmetrical design since this offset will offer a total clearance for memory modules. Those 8 shorter fins at the base are to ensure that there is no issues on motherboards that possess tall VRM heatsinks. Everything is connected via these 6mm thick copper heat pipes, which are 6 in total, that unite in the nickel plated copper base plate. There is almost a mirror finish to it with minimal convex design. The fan attaches easily thanks to the metal clips. Overall the Broken 4 has such a cool design, perfect for stealth builds. Then the Alpenphone logo is nicely positioned on the top base plate and as you can see all of the ends of the heat pipes have been capped off. That hole under the logo is for the included screwdriver to access the securing bolt from the base plate. Now the imposing heatsink for the Broken 4 Max features the same asymmetrical design and a strategic shorter number of fins that ensure maximum compatibility with modern motherboards. The anti-vibration strips are present on all sides of the tower. We have the same 6x6mm thick copper heat pipes that are nicely capped off. At the other end we have the nickel plated base plate with a slight mirror polish finish to it and with the same slight convex profile. Overall we have the complete perspective after attaching the fans. At just 150mm tall the Broken 4 Max will fit many cases since it's under the 160mm sweet spot threshold. The installation process will be pretty much identical across both models, just the metal brackets will differ slightly. Thus the first step is to remove the stock front plastic brackets from the motherboard while retaining the included backplate. Attach the black plastic spacers, then secure down the metal plates as seen for each model. Apply the thermal paste with your own method of dispersion, then bolt down the heatsink via the two securing bolts. Finally attach the fan and combo set respectively and connect them to the motherboard. Since this motherboard already features two CPU fan ports, the included splitter isn't necessary on this build for the Broken 4 Max. Keep it since it will come handy one day. The finished result is pretty much flawless for both models with no interference of any sorts around the socket area. Testing wise the 8 core CPU was also overclocked to 3.8 GHz for 1.3 V and I compared the Alpenphone units to their most relevant direct competitors in both price and specs. Across the board they perform excellent and there's nothing to worry about even in a mild overclock scenario. Regarding the noise output both of them are relatively quiet even in the higher loads which is the sweet spot for day to day usage. Here are the noise samples as well.
Having observed the fans in action as CPU heats in coolers, let's now shift our focus to the Jetstream triple pack installed as case fans. Suffice to say that they will get the job done since they are intended as a multi-role fan, which is pretty much true for any premium tier fan. The last test, mostly for fun, I attached the slim fan to the broken 4 Max as an exhaust fan creating thus a triple fan setup. It does help a bit, but only in the higher RPM range, hence my fixed 80% RPM point. To conclude, the Broken 4 is an excellent air cooler that provides ample cooling headroom, even with a mild overclock. If you want more overclocking, then the Max is the better choice. Both of them are quiet, have a great bundle and zero compatibility issues, and thus give Noctua and Be Quiet a proper run for their money. So technically, there is no point to get anything more expensive than the Broken 4 Max, if you are after such a big air cooler. Until something else will beat it at a lower price point, which I highly doubt it, this should be at the top of your wishlist.